Toronto. Boom. Just see what Lima is doing in the background. <laughs> Did you notice something? That there's coming in a new climbing god into this world soon. We're speaking of uh, Linda's child over here. If you remember, the, uh, Linda, does, uh, do the people know that you and Walker are together? Yeah, I think they should. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. And then it's Oke okay and Linda's baby. So it's gonna be world class. Yeah, so Tio is behind the camera, and today I guess we should start the episode. Because last time I climbed in a video, I think it was Nikian that set the boulder for me, which was two years ago. And today he's setting a boulder for me again. So right now he's upstairs building it for me. I don't know how it looks, what it is. I have requested some, some crimps. Some right, left, but knowing Nicky and it's gonna have some trickery in it as well. Um, so it's gonna be a really good episode, I, I think. Yeah, I know uh, when we, when I said something for him like decades ago, <laughs> then he surprised me. He did it quite quickly. I'm shooting like 7A, 7A plus, somewhere around there. So I just you... hope it's hard enough. Yeah. Where do you think the crux is gonna be for him? I think the crux is definitely that. Yeah. But I could also see. Because I asked him, I was like, how are you with toe hooks? And he said, he's not so good with toe hooks. So I think the cert could be hard for him to find the tension and to do this sequence. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I think with the balance as well, because you have all the weight over here, you get into this, and then you swing the weight over. So that could also be like a challenging moment for him. And then we'll see how this upper section works for him. So we'll see. But I think he's close to being ready to climb. Yeah. And then we'll uh, unleash the beast. Yeah. Do you think he'll flash? No. No. I don't think he'll flash. How many tries? I'd be super impressed. Um, hopefully like 10 tries. 10 tries. All right. You know, like 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. Counting like all of the beta tries. Yeah. I think that would be ideal. I think that feels OK. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, yeah, we'll see. I think it depends on how much finger strength he has. If he does, I think he can get the left foot up earlier and then do the move. But hopefully for him, it's like, you know, on the limit. So he has to do the, the sequence the way that I intended. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I was waiting for so long. Okay. I haven't, okay, I haven't looked at the boulder just yet. Do you know how many tries Nick and said? No. I mean, I know, I don't know. Uh, so he's guessing 10 tries. Jesus. All right. How's your endurance? <laughs> Eight to 10 tries. Okay. okay. Feast your eyes. There's some, some crimps, some slopers, some, some jogs. Some jogs. Yeah. So you have a start here, yeah. start there. Oh, no. And a start here, and a start okay. here. Okay. Uh, and then we finish up there. And that was, um, that, that, that's, that's, I mean, I can tell you, I mean, okay. I can say there is a zone. Is there supposed to be a palm on this one? Or is this just a foot off? That's just a foot. Okay, thank God. No, no, but bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, we're going to do some proper World Cup no. right now. I'm here to challenge, not to yeah. kill. Yeah, good. I'm going to give it, I guess, my flash burn. And then we'll see if it will be 10 tries or not. <sighs> Come on, Eric. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> I was so sure. When I did the beta, like, it, I know it. But then I got there and I was like, oh, no. Wow, you cruised that start. Did I completely destroy the beta? No, not at all. OK. You cruised it. But it, up there, I was like, oh, I'm now I'm confused. Yeah. And get the foot up and then match. Ah, 
and then go up. Yeah, but it, of course. But it looked super fine for you to go. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because I was here, and then I started messing around. Yeah. And I think here I felt a bit cramped, so I was like, oh, wishful thinking. Let's just try to squeeze myself in there somewhere. Yep. Okay, so I fell halfway through. I'm, I'm going to try from the middle part, and I'm not 100% sure of the beta, but I'm going to try my beta, and then after, Nick could say if it was correct or not. <laughs> I don't think that that's the beta. The the level is higher than I expected. I mean you you like you did the move. Yeah. Just like one move before where <laughs> Because I gave you like a good jug to do the move too. And you're yeah, like, but something with like the the cramped on the cling. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean that. Yeah. I knew when I stuck it. Okay, this is not the way. Nicky wouldn't do stuff like this. Wow. But I was psyched that I kept it. Like I tried. Really, I tried really hard there. So the question is if I would ever be able to do that move from the start. I'm not sure. No, we'll find but out. But I kind of like it. Like. <laughs> oh, it's super cool. But yeah, now you get to, uh, you can try the the way I intended it as well. Uh, yeah, and see how that feels. Instead, because you came in here and here to go, come in under cling on this. Yeah, bump left hand up, get the feet up, and then go. Okay, right hand into the jug. See if it feels harder or easier than my version. <coughs> nice, Eric. Come on. Okay, that was way too chill. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely thinking about removing the foot there to the left. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh. Oh. How many tries do I have now? Uh, you're up to, is it two or three? Three. Yeah, three tries. I got seven more tries <laughs> for the sand. So I was just thinking of going on and like, I'm gonna do Nikki's beta. But now I'm thinking, since I have seven more tries, I have some room to be a naughty boy and try and send the boulder with my beta, like, and max out. So I'm, so I'm gonna do that. Am I asshole? No, no, no. Okay, good. This is your playground. <laughs> I'm just the god that gets to watch. <laughs> okay. Come on, Eric. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Oh no. You burned a lot of juice there. Yeah, I was stubborn there. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. uh... Yeah, ne next beta, I do Nikki's beta. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you can crimp. Um, while I rest, I'm gonna show you a trailer that, we talk that I talked about in another video. And some of the disclaimers, uh, if you're not watching on, if you have a laptop available and some headset, definitely like use that, because there's a lot of sound design in the trailer. So if you have it without headset, you're gonna lose quite a lot of bit of it. So yeah, so that trailer starts now. I hope you enjoy it. Coordination, I think in the coordination and in the power, we are on the limit, eh? in yes. both of the boulders. The main thing for the athletes is to have only skills, to have no weakness, especially in competition. So they need to be ready for everything. He 
is not good for people when there is not a top in a bullet, but sometimes we play with the risk to have only one top and to show who is the best. And this is risky, because if you play for one, maybe it's zero. So yeah, I mean, at this point, every root setter we've discussed the plan beforehand, everybody just goes in, takes care of their part. So it's very, it's like an individual work period, but it's also very collaborative, because as soon as you know, it's okay, I'm done with this, what can I help with? I think the most difficult part is to know the level of the athletes uh, they are in their preparation with the Olympics coming uh, next year. Et j'adore le côté un peu aventure d'aller sur une compétition où tu découvres ton équipe, tu dois un peu comprendre comment tout le monde fonctionne pour euh, trouver les points faibles, les points forts. The level of like crazy ideas and how far they can push an idea within a competition setting is really inspiring. So it's cool to really see for me like this is kind of what the next level looks like. Now I saw the trailer and I really hope you get excited. I just have to add some information to it. So this trailer, this, like this, uh, I would say like the, the, the project, filming, the like project was never planned. I was just going to um, film a little bit for Nick and for memory, because uh, it was his first time setting for European Cup and it's been a dream for a dream of his for a long time. And also kind of sneak peek a bit, a little bit behind the scenes, what's going on in the competition. Because um, I always want to make like a root setting film on like the biggest stage. So I just wanted to get some insight into it. So the original plan then was like, I'll be there for like half a day and then I'll leave everyone at B because I mean, it wasn't planned. So I can't, you know, I can't be too intrusive. But then the longer I stay, the more time I went by, I'll be like, I, I need to film. Like I, ca I cannot go home and like not do nothing. So I was there for like three days and I was there filming like 16 hours a day. And since I didn't want to be intrusive, can I, is there a way I could get some information visually and just ask a tiny amount of questions to not interrupt a lot of people. Um, and see if I can put together like a trailer or a teaser for all of you so you can see like there's, there's like a proper film, Netflix documentary in root setting. Like you could easily make a really grand climbing root setting film for like two hours with everything that's going behind the scenes. Because it's a very complex machine. And I definitely want to give a shout out to the root setting team because without them allowing me to be there, like we would never, I would never have been able to film all this. So I want to give a big shout out to Sergio Verdasco, uh, Kilian Ark, Jackie Gidov, and uh, my lease Agaport. I hope I said everyone's name, name right. Without all their help and participation, we could never do this. Um, yeah, so that's the trailer. I know maybe it's a bit anticlimactic that I show you like this trailer, and then I tell you this is like, just a glimpse into a potential future. But I want to add something to it as well, because I, I didn't just want to leave you completely empty-handed. Team Sweden was at the European Cup, and I decided then to get, like, use all this footage that I have, mash together like a root setting competition climbing film. And that one is around 28 minutes long. So I'm going to release that in three days after this video is dropped. So together with this trailer and that climbing film, like you can get a real insight into you know, what a real project could look like. Like let's say if IFSC and Netflix and some other like big companies got involved and made something really big, this is like kind of just like showing a glimpse of what that could be. But I'm super proud of the work because uh, I've been working really hard on it. And at first I didn't think I had the skill to piece all these things together. But it's definitely like the most proud work, hardest work I've ever done. So um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm incredibly excited to show you the, the climbing film. But I feel like I'm gonna just give it to Nicky because he was part of the team and he wanted to say some few things as well. It was like super humbling to be on the team to see like the concentrated amount of experience and how both like how good people were at setting but also like the super high level of climbing that all of the setters have. So I was just like, came out of that experience like the most motivated I've ever been. I learned so much and it was uh, really an experience for me to be like out of my comfort zone because I've set like a fair amount of competitions but to be on that stage was just something completely new for me. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, also just shout out to the team. It was a great experience. We had so much fun together and I hope it reflects that within the video that you guys are gonna watch. It's been a labor of love by Eric to put it together. And uh, I mean, like I, I got chills when I watched it, but I was also there. And uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys think of it in the comments. Oh no. Come on, Eric. Come on. Oh, I'm sliding there. Yes! In <laughs> four tries. Uh, fell into this bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, you were just cruising. You were. Whew. Our hero, thinking he's reached the end of his journey, has only reached the halfway point. Oh no. I've changed out some holds. This one is now in a worse position. Um, this hold is worse. This foothold is worse. And uh, the foot that I think was quite crucial for Eric Send is in a different position. <laughs> Why you look at the goddamn evil? <laughs> everything, everything will just be like slightly harder. Come on, Eric. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> Almost there, I'm like, I'm gonna show this root setter. I'm gonna do my beta. Yeah, but it was harder in the start. Yep. Like, I'm definitely slipping more. Yeah. And I don't know, what, like, cream fun, I'm like, I've never done this in my life. I was yeah. like, I, the panic is real. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna do it my way. Show me, master voice. Oh, oh shit. Was that the original beta? Yeah. Holy. You're fucking crazy. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I should try that. Well, at least I'm moving the arm. Yep. Come here, Eric. Oh shit! I'm happy with that. Like, I, it is progress. Yeah, that's it for today's episode. And then in three days we get the climbing film. Nikki, do you have any final, last inspiring words? Enjoy the climbing film. It's great. See you great. next time. Fantastic, Jesus magical, Christ. groundbreaking. Main character, and he gets a great. <laughs> okay, bye. Look at the, the boy I'm shaping to become a man. Tio. Scouting shots, looking slightly okay. There we go, now it's the muscles. <laughs> <laughs>